Hi there, it's Jonathan Denwood here from WP Tonic. And I just want to quickly discuss something that's been causing a bit of confusion, not only for myself, but for a lot of people that have contacted me. And it's really at the overlap between three great WordPress plugin products. And that would be WP Fusion, um, that would be Ancaniel Automator, and Groundhog. Now, it is a bit confusing because there's overlap of what these products do, but there's also unique functionality that each plugin does. So, um, and also the other confusing element is that all three plugins offer a light version, a version that you don't have to pay for, which is really useful if you're on a tight budget or you're just trying something out. They also, um, I don't think WP Fusion does, but I'm pretty sure that um, Uncanny Automator Pro and the Pro version of Groundhog gives you a 14 day trial period. But let's start off with the light versions and what they can offer you and what they won't do and why you might have to look at the pro version. Now, when it comes to, let's start with um, WP Fusion. Now, it's, the light version really is quite powerful. And a lot of the things, especially if you combine them with the light version of the other two plugins, extends its ability to do things which you would normally have to buy the paid version to be able to achieve. And that's mostly um, the light version will always enable you to communicate with a vast number of external SAS CRM systems um, like Active Campaign, Infusionsoft, Drip. Um, there's over 200. You know, it's amazing what the team at WP Fusion has done. And that integration, that ability to communicate with those external CRMs, you get with the light version and you get with the paid version. One of the restrictions of the light versions is that it doesn't communicate with a number of WordPress plugins. If you want that, you have to buy the pro version. And there, and there are some limitations about how you can apply the tags with the light version compared to the pro version. But I don't, I don't plan to go into that in great detail in this video because it would end up like war and peace. But I'm probably going to do another video will, that will explain the difference a bit different in more detail. Now, when it comes to Ancani L, the great thing about using Ancani Light and using in WP Fusion Light is that it, by using that combination, you then do get um, access for the two to for Ancani L to allow WP Fusion Light to communicate with a number of quite a long list of other plugins, example, um, Learn Dash, Lifter LMS, because I'm in the learning management um, area myself through my company, I, we have a, I have an emphasis on that particular area, but it also allows integration with a number of other um, WordPress well-known plugins, which you don't get um, with W Fusion Light on its own, you would have to pay the pro and get a pro version to do that. So that's when that overlap of those two particular plugins really is powerful 
you know, obviously you got more to um, set up, um, but it's not that difficult. One of the other strengths of both WP Fusion and, and Canial um, Automator is both plugins have been on the market for about two to three years. Um, I think that's correct with Uncanny Owl. It's been around a long, but they've consistently been investing more and more time and money and resources into it. And it's become a very powerful tool. But the, the consequence of that, I probably am a little bit wrong about Uncanny Owl, but as a company, one of its strengths is it does normally provide very good documentation. And it does with this particular plugin product. Also, the documentation with WP Fusion is very good because, like, I know that's been around for about three to four years, and there's quite a lot of documentation on that site that will show you how to configure things. Now, the third um, part of the trio is Groundhog. Now, Groundhog is a native CRM, um, it competes directly with Active Campaign, with Drip, um, with a number of these SaaS based CRMs. Now, the good news is the light version of Groundhog is pretty powerful. Um, if you want to do very elaborate logic based um, funnels like if that person doesn't do do if else statement kind of logic, you are going to have to buy the pro version. And there's an add-on that enables you to do the, these more advanced um, funnel decision matrix, as I call them. But it, as a beginner, or I would say for 70% of the things you would do, the Groundhog 3 version really does a lot. It provides sending out the email. Um, it offers a number. The actual interface, and um, even though they're going to be bringing out um, in the next few months a improved interface, even uh, the 2.0 interface compared to some of these SaaS based CRMs, I think is pretty simple to use. Um, and like I say, for 70, maybe 80% of what people need to do, the, the free version works. Um, it does have its own tagging, but the, that's the beauty of combining Groundhog with the other two light products that I've been talking about is that if you if you combine Groundhog with WP Fusion, um, your tagging is um, is going to the power of it's going to be increased. Um, you're going to be able if you decide to drop Groundhog for some reason, and you decide to go to a SaaS based CRN system like let's say for example. Um, you are using Active Campaign. You get fed up with the cost because it can become, even though it's cheaper than a lot of the other CR, um, SaaS based CRMs out there, the price can soon build up, especially if you get into a list of seven, 10, 15, 20,000 contacts. It, the price really starts to ramp up. So you go, so you're attracted to Groundhog, you try it, and then you think to yourself, ah, oh, sorry, I want to go back to Active Campaign. I'd be surprised if you do that, but we're, we, we are all different and we react to interfaces and systems in different ways. So um, if that happens, you're going to find it much easier to go back to Active Campaign or use some other. Um, SaaS based CRM if you're using WP Fusion with Groundhog because the tagging system is designed to allow you to do that where the Groundhog tagging system isn't. Um, 
and um, basically building also um, if you wanted it to communicate with a lot of other third party WordPress plugins like Lifter LMS or Learn Dash, you had to buy the pro version of Groundhog. But if you're using Ancani L in, in, the, in these, this mixture of these three plugins, you don't need to do that because Ancani L will communicate as it does for WP Fusion Lite with other plugins. Now, one of the restrictions though of using Ancani L Lite um, is that if you use the light version, it only communicates with WordPress plugins. It will not communicate with external services. But in a way, WP Fusion um, deals with that to some extent. But that is one of the major benefits. Also, um, the, the library, um, and Caniel calls it some um, automizations. It causes it call, sorry, it calls them recipes. Now, um, basically, these recipes, what do they exactly? They're using something a technology called web hooks. And I, like I say, I don't want to delve too deeply in into that particular technology because that I'll probably do that in another video. But what that does, what it basically is um, really um, and can you automator, especially if you buy one of the pro version, it's the Zapier of WordPress. It's a really, um, it's an alternative and a lot cheaper alternative than having to use Zapier. Now I do know Zapier offers a free account, but the reality of the free account is pretty crippled. And then it soon mounts up the cost of using Zapier because I think the next product up is around $49 a month. Um, and I actually think Uncanny Air works better than Zapier, um, especially if you've got a WordPress website. Um, I'm very impressed with the team at Uncanny Air. I think they're a quality team, just like the team at WP Fusion. And um, I know Adrian and his team, Adrian um, has been uh, a co-host of my podcast. And I know that um, the Groundhog team are really trying to build something really fantastic. So I've, I've got no problem recommending utilizing these three plugins. I'm gonna wrap it up now because I hopefully I've given you some insight of what the light versions do, what the paid versions do, and I've given you enough content to make it worthwhile watching this video without going down a warren, um, which is very easy to do. Like I say, I'm gonna be making, over the next few weeks, I'm, I'm gonna be making more videos about these particular free products because, um, I think there's a need for a lot more training and information about these particular products and what they can do, especially around you not having really ha having to use membership plugins anymore. By using a combination of these um, free plugins, the need for a membership plugin to some extent um, is rejected. Um, yeah, in our own stack that we provide with our hosted service, we do provide WooCommerce with um, WooCommerce subscription. But the main reason why we do that is to allow our clients um, to use cart flows and then be able to build really fantastic modern shopping cart systems where you've got bumps up, bumps down, um, where you really want a very sophisticated 
um, especially if you're selling physical products with memberships. But I'll be making some videos about that as well and about why you should be interested in that. Um, if you like this video, please do me a favour, like the video, subscribe to the channel. It really helps WP Tonic. If you thought this was useful and you want to see more videos like this, leave a comment. Um, I will reply to any normal comment um, or feedback that you give. I'll see you soon, folks.